by mapping the auxes into the menus and the panels, you can have full control over your system and have very easy to use presentation style switching. All of the aux assignments can be saved in the presets and recalled when needed. By adding mixers to the auxes, we've also enabled additional mapping capabilities. You'll notice in the aux menu, we now have up to 30 mappable points for our auxes. We also, 1 through 16, also correlate with the buttons on the control panel. To map the auxes, we go into System, Aux Setup, and then select the aux and go from there. So you'll notice I've already mapped my two record auxes, 29 and 30, to the aux menu. My next aux that I have is a downstage monitor. Now I've created a program preview mixer out of downstage monitor because it doesn't require actual dissolves, but I would like to preview the source before I send it to the downstage monitor and as well as have it included in presets. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and assign the downstage monitor to the panel. So I'll start with map to panel and I'm going to assign the program side of the downstage monitor to aux 8. You'll notice that aux 8 is turned purple and it now is selectable on the actual aux panel. I'm going to select the preview and we'll map the preview. So I'm going to map the preview to number 7. Now you'll notice in my aux menu that these two are mapped to 7 and 8 in the aux menu. Going back into the aux setup, let's go ahead and map the preview and program for our two UOCs. So the left UOC, we'll go ahead and uh, map that to the panel and we'll make that 2. And the right UOC program will make 4. The previews, of course, I'll make that 1 and 3. So now we have our previews and our programs. You'll notice our programs are amber and our previews are green. In our program preview aux, green is preview, purple is program, indicating cuts only. We also can map our universal output mixers the same way. I'm going to map these mixers to the menu, however, above 16. So for instance, I can map these guys to 18 and 19. And you can continue on mapping your auxes in this same manner. Now in the aux menu, I have the ability to select from the aux menu. So these two are auxes that are available only in the aux menu, not on the panel. But I can still use the panel to change sources if I wish. Or I can use the assigned source button to change sources as well. When multiple select is turned on, I can select multiple auxes at one time. Say I wanted to take all of my previews to an input. I can select all of my previews, select assign source, select the source, maybe the camera, and hit assign. That now has those assigned to the previews, and then using aux trans, I can then mix over to the next source. If I turn multiple select off, my next selection will then clear the multi-select. Also in the aux menu, we have the ability to lock and unlock auxes. Notice my two auxes here used for the records. I can lock or unlock. If I've already assigned the source, I can lock these so that then if a preset recalls or somebody accidentally selects those, they will not change source.